we knew from a rigging point of view and from an armature point of view, we wanted to make this thing as light as possible because we knew that we'd be fighting the scale and the weight. As we started to work it out, we figured that, you know, this thing is really just a giant puppet. And so we applied the same principles that we would apply to any puppet, but just on a big scale. We're picking the elbow and the wrist up with cables. Instead of having a mechanical shoulder, we have magnets in the shoulder, and that allows us to roll the shoulder without loss of range. Working with the giant skeleton was sort of an animator's worst nightmare. You know, your puppet is bigger than you are, and it was intimidating. How are we going to manage this huge thing? Not to mention it's scary looking. All the animators here, I'm sure, are used to working with puppets anywhere from 6 to 15 inches tall. This has a whole new set of different difficulties, access, physical space, weight. So it was really physically demanding. The slow day would be eight frames a day in 12 hours. That's like over an hour of frame. The fast day, 18 frames. Thank goodness that's over.